Good day everyone. Today we are going to consider the topic change of subject formula and substitution. Now, you can see that change of subject formula and substitution is a topic treated in SS1. So we are kind of going back to check what we have learned before. And therefore, I want you to sit back and put yourself together so that you can get or recall the procedures involved in changing the subject of a formula. But before we move, what do we mean by the subject of a formula? The subject of a formula is the variable expressed in terms of the other variables. For instance, I have x equals to 3y minus 4 all over t. In this, x is being expressed in terms of the other variables which are y and t and therefore x is called the subject of this formula then to change or transpose the subject of a formula simply means to rearrange the formula such that a different variable becomes the subject are we together? like in this one now this can be rearranged such that y will be the subject O P will be the subject. So I want us to follow this very one and see. Let's try and make Y the subject of this very formula. Are we together? Now, in doing so, what you just need to remember is how do I solve an equation? Because all the procedures to be followed is just like we are solving for Y in terms of the other variables. So let's proceed with this. If we want to now make y the subject here, actually now we are going to cross multiply this very equation. And when we cross multiply, it's going to give us 3y minus 4 is equal to xp. Because 3y minus 4 will multiply this, and then x will also multiply this to give us this. Then, just as I said, we are like more of solving for y. So now, we want to take y, what do we need to do here? We have to what? Add minus 4 to both sides of the equation and in other words we can now say we take the whole of this minus 4 to this other side of the equation and that will give us 3y equals to xp plus 4 and then we can now see that y is being multiplied by 3 so we have to what divide both sides by the coefficient of y which is what 3 and that means I will have 3y divided by 3 is equal to xp plus 4 divided by 3. And this 3 will cancel this 3. And then we are now going to have it to be y equals to xp plus 4 all over 3. And we have just finished changing the subject to another variable y. Of course, it's a very simple and straightforward thing. So, that is what we shall be doing in this very topic. Let's take another major example here. Now, we have another example. Let's call it example 2. Then this becomes example 1. Now, we should make you the subject of the formula. V equals to U plus A T. Just as we have done the first question here, we have V equals to U plus A T. Here, V is the subject, and we want to transform it to U. Alright? Now, to make you the subject, so it's a very straightforward one. We just discover that we will have to work, subtract a t from both sides. And so in other words, it means we we'll take positive a t to the left hand side, and that will give us v minus a t equals to u. And of course, our u now is the subject minus a t. Okay. Remember, our topic is change of subject formula and substitution. So as we proceed, we will bring in substitution into some of the questions. Let's take another question here. 
This question says make M the subject of the relation of the relation P equals to X plus Y M Q. Alright. Our concentration is what? On M. So let's see how we can rearrange this to get M as the subject. We have P equals to X plus Y M Q. Of course, we'll have to take this one back here so that we have P. This x is positive, so when it crosses to this side, it becomes minus x equals to y m cubed. Right? So now, looking at them, this m is our uh, what we are considering. So we have to divide both sides by this y. And if we do that, that's we divide this by y, we divide this by y. This will take away this. And then we have p minus x all over y equals to m cube but our question is to make m the subject from that not m cube so what do we do with this m cube with, or with this cube now first we be able to cancel this cube that means we are going to take the cube root of what both sides that is to take cube root of both sides very important okay and when we do that that means we are going to have it like this cube root of p minus x all over y. Let me write it proper cube root, and that will be m cube. We take the cube root here so that this cube will take away of this root, and then we will now have cube root of p minus x over y equals to m and therefore we are finished making m the subject of this very formula of course it's simple and straightforward so we shall consider more examples and then from there we will now include substitution as the earlier seat alright right let's take the next question here and this question is say Here we have v equals to 1 all over 3 by r square h. And to proceed with this, we have to multiply both sides by LCM, which is 3. And when we do that, we are going to get 3v is equals to by r square h. Alright, our concentration is to make what? R the subject. So, any pi and h are being multiplied r squared. So we have to divide both sides by what? Pi h. And that is 3v divided by pi h will be pi r squared h divided by pi h. And doing so, this h will go with this h and this pi will go with this pi. So, we are left with r squared equals to 3v all over pi h. Please don't be confused. Whether 3v all over by h equals to r square or r square equals to 3v all over by h still means the same thing. So to do away with this square, as we have considered before, we took cube root before, isn't it? So in this case, we are going to take square root. And when we take square root, the square here will go, and then we will be left with 3v all over by h under a root. 
Okay? That is what we have. Now, there are further actions to substitute the values of H to be 14, V to be 25, and then Pi to be 22 over 7, so that we can get um, the value of R. So therefore, since H is 14, V is 25, Pi is 22 over 7, our R will be square root of 3V, that is 3 times 25, all over Pi, 22, all over 7, times H, 14. Can you see that? So, 7 can go here 1, and 7 can go here 2. So uh, we now have R equals to 3 times 25 is 75, all divided by 22 times 2 is 44. And uh, we are now going to have square root of 75 divided by 24. Okay? So, what is 75 divided by 24? Of course. I know you know that, so we'll be checking that for us as I also check here. Right, 75 divided by 44. I got, I got 1.704545, right? Good. So you take the square root of your answer. And I hope you are there already. Square root of 1. Point 7045. Okay, with that, I got 1.30056, and that is the value of R. Alright, so, okay, the next question we have before us here is given that S is supposed to K root M squared plus N squared, we make M the subject of the relation. And if S is 12.2 and K is 0 0.02 and N is 1.1, find the value of N. K. S is equals to K square root of M square plus N square. When you have a root form like this and the subject you want to make inside the root, the first thing to do is to, to cancel out the root. And how do we do it? We take the reverse of that root. Like here we have square root. And the reverse of square root is what? Is square. So we are going to what? Square both sides to help us do away with this root. So we are going to have this to be S square. It's close to, when you square this side, the K will be squared. And then this root will be, get rid, we will go. Okay? Now, our thing is to make what? M the subject. So we are going to expand this bracket. Okay? So we have S square is equals to K square M square plus K square N square. So, for us to be able to make M the subject, we have to take this one back on this side. So that we have S square is equals to K square N square. Sorry, S square minus k square n square is equals to k square n square. So you can ask that the m is already here and is attached with k square. So to get rid of this k square, we have to divide both sides by what? k square. And uh, we now have s square minus k square n square all divided by k square is equals to k square n square all divided by k squared. So this will go with this. And then check this k square n squared can be written as k n all squared. Okay? If you remember your indices. So we will have s squared minus instead of this now I can write it like this k n all squared all over k squared is equals to m squared. And you now see that the m is carrying a square. So for us to get rid of this square, we have to what? Take the square root of both sides. And when we do that, we will now have m to be equals to square root of s square minus kn square all over k square. If you like, you can put plus or minus here, since this is a square root. Because square root is either 
diagnostic or negative the value. So, with this, we have finished making M the subject formula. So, we are now going straight to B. B says S is 12.2, K is 0 0.02, and N is 1.1. So, we make our substitution and have the M equals to plus or minus the square root of S squared. That is 12.2 all squared minus Kn means K times N. So we are going to have 0 0.02 times 1.1 all squared all over k, which is 0 0.02 squared. Okay? So our m is going to plus or minus. You calculate this and you tell us what you have. Okay? As I also do mine. What is 12.2 squared? Twelve point two square, of course. If you are right, you will have one four eight point eight four minus zero point zero two times one point one. You will have the answer. Then you square it. You square it. So we are going to have. You do that correctly. You get zero point zero 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 four eight four. Then everything divides by zero point zero two square. Okay, so we have zero point zero 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 four. So that our m is plus or minus. You also subtract this as one four eight one four eight. Point eight four minus zero point zero 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 four eight four. Okay, when you do that, then you divide the answer by zero. Divide the answer by zero point zero 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 four. Okay, and you will have three seven two point zero nine eight. Sorry, three seven two. Zero nine eight point seven nine. See m will be plus or minus the square root of this answer. Okay, we're going to take the square root of three seven two point. So three seven two zero nine eight point seven nine. If you are very correct, you have six zero nine point nine nine nine. And M is approximately six one zero. If you run up your answer to the nearest whole number, and that is the value of M. It's a very simple one. And I hope you got the logic. You can follow through to understand better and post any question you have in our WhatsApp group. Okay, you can contact me. On my WhatsApp number 0813684018819 with any question at all, whether they join here or not, or if from anywhere you have come across, you can post it up there. And then I'm going to give you an assignment that you do and also submit to the same WhatsApp number. Alright, thank you for your time. Here are some assignment questions for you to do, and I would love if, if you solve these questions, snap and then send to my WhatsApp number as written on top here and then down here. So you study each of the questions, they are easy going, solve them, and all of you should submit through my WhatsApp number or my email address. So happy solving, have a nice day.